Hello and welcome to Section 6, Managing Docker Services. In the previous section, we built a monitoring and logging system for our Docker Swarm cluster. In this section, we will look at getting managed container services with the following cloud providers. The Azure Container Service, the Amazon EC2 Container Service, and the Google Kubernetes Engine. Azure Container Service. In this video, we will work on deploying containers to Microsoft Azure. First, we will sign up for a Microsoft Azure account. Next, we will start a Docker Swarm cluster with the Azure Container Service. And finally, we will deploy a container to test our Docker Swarm cluster. To prepare for the rest of the video, we will first register for a Microsoft Azure account. For new Azure users, Microsoft provides credits for the first month of the service. We are currently here on the Microsoft Azure page. Let us click on the Start Free to sign up for the account. After following several prompts, we will now be here in the Azure Portal dashboard with our new account. Next, we will install the Azure CLI in our development environment. First, let us pull the YAM repository containing the Azure CLI packages. Then, we install the Azure CLI package. Now that we have a Microsoft Azure account and have the Azure CLI installed, we will now configure our command line client to use our Microsoft account credentials. To do this, we run az login. This command generated a device code. Let us copy the device code for the next step. For the next step, we will go to this device login page. Here we are in our device login page. Let us now paste here our device code. Finally, let us select the Microsoft account we used earlier for signing up for the Microsoft Azure service. We should now be logged in into our Azure CLI session. Here we are back in our Azure CLI session. As we can see, it showed that we obtained our cloud credentials already. Let us now register for a few Azure services to manage our Docker Swarm. First, we will register for the networking service. Next, we will register for the storage service. And then, we will register for the compute service. Finally, we will register for the container service. Next, let us create a resource group in our Azure CLI account. Resource group are a collection of related resources in Microsoft Azure like virtual machines, networks, and container services. To start in Microsoft Azure, we created a resource group called Swarm Production. Note that Docker Swarm mode is only available in selecting Microsoft Azure regions like Canada East at the time of this video. We will now use the az acs create command to create the Docker Swarm cluster. As we can see here, we specified the orchestrator type to be Docker CE for Docker Swarm mode. The Azure Container Service has support for other container orchestrators like Mesosphere's Data Center OS and Kubernetes. Now that we have our Docker Swarm cluster, it is now time we test it. To test it, we will connect to the manager node of our Docker Swarm. To prepare a connection, we will first need to figure out the host name of our manager node. We can query the Azure Container Service using the CLI like the following. Here is the host name of our manager node. Now that we know the host name of our manager node, let us initiate an SSH tunnel from our development machine. Now that the SSH tunnel is set up, we can test that we are indeed connected to our Docker Swarm cluster running in Microsoft Azure. We can do this by updating the Docker host environment variable to point to our tunnel. As we can see here, we are connected to our Docker Swarm. Next, let us check our node list in our Docker Swarm. This shows our Docker Swarm workers running in Microsoft Azure. Finally, let us now test our newly provisioned Docker cluster by deploying a simple container. 
Here, we just deployed the official Nginx Docker image that will listen to port 80 for the default HTTP service. Our Nginx container should now be running inside our Docker Swarm cluster. To test, we will connect to one of the worker nodes of our cluster to connect using the ingress ports. To figure out the hostname, we will query the list of agent pools in the Azure container service. Here is one of the hostname of our worker node. Let us now check our worker node. Here we are with our worker node. As we can see, Nginx is running properly. We now have a container running in our Docker Swarm cluster that is managed and hosted in Microsoft Azure.